Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I got a cool project for you guys. Now, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and I'm finally able to do it, which is casting my phone to a Raspberry Pi, just like the Chromecast and stuff like that. This, you could say, is more of a Chromecast alternative. So let's get started. So if you guys don't know what a Chromecast is, it's basically a little device that you plug into the back of the TV with the HDMI port, and you could use your phone or any other like mobile device and send the video or whatever you're watching onto the TV to, through the Chromecast. Now I'm really excited about this project because this is something that I really wanted to do for a while now. So for an example, let me show you guys. Basically I have my uh, YouTube going on over here. Now you're used to seeing a cast button. That's not what we're gonna be pressing right there. We're actually gonna be pressing the little share button. You know, we're actually gonna be pressing the little share button and then uh, looking for the Raspberry Pi cast. And then as soon as I send it over and hit play, my little guy to the left should be playing the video. Hey guys, what's going on? It's done. And there we have it. The Here's HDMI. Back with another tutorial. And today we are going to be getting Netflix to work on our Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. And I could control it through here too with the buttons on top, play, pause, and everything. And then you see, I didn't have to touch my device at all. Uh, so essentially how this works is you have a little uh, software that you compile on the Raspberry Pi. Then you have the software on the Android phone, which I believe it's only for Android. And from here, when you hit the uh, share button, it basically takes the link of the video like YouTube or something like that, even a video or a picture from your phone. It'll take that link and send it via SSH over to your Raspberry Pi. And then your Raspberry Pi will take that information and cast it from there. Now I've tried this on a plain installation. Now this installation is the one with the Netflix that I have installed. And I've also tried it on um, RetroPie. So it does work. It takes over the screen and then it plays. Now I haven't tried it on Kodi, which I believe will work because it's basically taking over the driver anyway, but I'm not sure if you're watching a video and then you try to do it, will it work that way? All right, so I know, enough talking. Let's get to the process. All right, guys, so this is actually the version that I did my uh, Netflix video on. It's on the latest version of Raspbian and it's all updated. So the first thing we need to do is actually go into app and grab some software. Now, you don't have to worry about what you're typing. It's gonna be all on my website and I'll leave a link in the description so you can just copy and paste. But I'm gonna go through the motions here. First thing we need to do is sudo app get install lib jpeg 8 dash dev and lib png 12 dash dev. Now I already have everything installed, so for you, you're gonna have to press yes to let everything go through. Once that's done, we have to get the software that will make this all possible. So we're gonna do git clone https github.com slash Harriger Arnold. There's no N. Why am I saying that? Okay. And I grabbed everything. It's actually a very small software. We're going to change our directory to OMXIV. Next thing we need to do is make IL client. Okay. It's going to grab everything we need to do and then do make dash j4 to compile it using four cores i'm going to see the cpu pop up to like 100 nope and we're done next is sudo make install so it will install in the appropriate locations now that everything's installed you are done and basically it just turned into a chromecast the next thing you need to know is just the ip address and also if you have ssh enabled so to check that uh, you will first go to if config just to see the ip and for me it's actually 71 right here and I'm gonna pull up preference, Raspberry Pi config. Go over to interface and make sure that SSH is enabled. Once you're done with this step, all you need to do is install the app on your phone. So let's head over there. Okay, so here we're at the Play Store and the first thing we wanna do is install this app called RaspiCast, RaspiCast. Okay, so we're at the Play Store and the first thing you wanna install is this called RaspiCast. I already have it installed over here but that's what you're searching for. And once you have that installed, the first thing you wanna do is head over to the three little dots over there and go into the settings. So let's do that. SSH settings. And this is where you pop in the IP address, the port, the username, and the password for your Raspberry Pi. Once you're done with that, you could hit okay. Now, 
you could head over to you know whatever you want to stream you could actually hit cast and whatever you have on your phone you could cast it but what we're trying to do is head over to YouTube and you can see I actually have a video file playing and that's me right and all you have to do is instead of hitting the cast button like you see on the top right you actually hit that little share button and okay scroll down to Raspberry Pi cast you can see right over here and click on that and give it a second hey guys what's going on it's Don and here you have it. Nova Spirit Tech, and video I am playing back with on my tutorial. Raspberry Pi and, today we and you are can also control it through here so guys thanks for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it please hit that like button if you guys got any questions about it hit it up in the comments below and again this whole tutorial is actually on my website so you didn't have to follow too closely you could just pull it from my website and copy and paste all the commands 